Good morning guys, it's Saturday and we are headed to Toronto. We're taking Sabrina with us today. And uh, unfortunately Laura's staying home and Sophie's sick. So she decided to stay home with her mom and keep her company. And yeah, the reason why we go to Toronto so close to Christmas is uh, my parents are from Toronto and uh, and have to exchange gifts, have some food, have some fun with family, and then we will be back. And then we do Christmas here. Anyways, we're off to Toronto and I got Gabby with me. something so amazing today something I have never done um, for over a week I walked I tried it this morning it was a little bit uncomfortable but not too bad and then I rested for a while and I tried it again it's amazing to be up and moving oh so proud you guys so proud of myself um, anyway welcome to today I'm excited to see what today brings having their Christmas celebration with us and unfortunately I didn't get to go. I feel like I could maybe have gone but I don't want to risk it too soon. It's nine, nine days post um, accident. Nine days and I'm doing so so well. She actually has a cold and isn't feeling well so she stayed home and she's been helping me. I got some clothes on. She had to go upstairs and get all my clothes for me. She picked my clothes for me. She's been helping me clean up. Let me show you. Clean up this room. She moved everything. She moved the ottoman over there so that it's kind of out of the way. This room gets super crowded. Don't mind the dead dog in the middle. Yeah she tried to get rid of the dead dog in the middle but it just doesn't happen. Ruby. Ruby. <laughs> She's really not dead. to Toronto we are uh, two hours we made it really quick but uh, you know what where we're headed because we're really early I'm gonna go visit my grandmother you haven't seen my grandmother because she's dead <laughs> been here in a really long time and I uh, used to come here all the time when I lived in Toronto take care of my grandmother's grave um, so hopefully I don't get lost and hopefully I remember the way I think I do and I think I am lost yeah I think I went the wrong way <laughs> lost to new well I'm so embarrassed you guys because 
change the cemetery so much and uh, I probably haven't been here in 10 years. Yeah, that's what a great grandson does, right? But we never have time to get here. Believe this, there's these humongous deers out here. Humongo deer. I'll show you. Look at them. Oh, there they go. Look at them. I'm guessing that one's the male looking at us over there. I don't know. They all they all have horns. Oh, beauty. Cool. There's three of them. I know. One, two, and uh, three. Cool, cool eh? A grave fell down. We're pretty close too to them. What the heck? First stop, my grandfather's place for Christmas. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Yeah? yeah. Well, you don't drink it or what? No, I drink it. Yeah, I drink wine. Oh, wine. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You drink wine now. What's that? Okay, I'll have wine. Next stop, parents' house. Park this big truck in this little driveway. Got the presents out. Yeah, I got the big bag of presents. Come on. Bring them out. Oh, and have we got a treat for you? And that's a hint. Have we got a treat for you? Merry Christmas. Late as usual. Late? We're before noon this time. Oh my god. Well, <laughs> you eat leftovers. Left so, what over. do we got? Just one child? Yeah, she's the other one's sick. Same with mom. Mom's home from the hospital. Is she's she? staying. Yeah. Take care of her. Okay. Hello, oh geez, we're late. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, 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 oh. We're not Santa. late. Oh, we just look at everybody. It's not Santa. It's not Santa. What? He even got the belly. Oh, can't even get in here. Little burgers. A little burger. You guys already ate. Uh -huh. All right, you can sit there. We got an extra chair now. I won't believe this. We're making mini burgers for Christmas dinner. Is that fun or what? Mini burgers? Look how small that is. And it comes with mini cheese. You can put mini cheese on your mini burger. And have a mini burger. Is that awesome? Did you want the cheese? Mini cheese. Oh, they got mini tomatoes too. Oh my gosh, look, we got mini pickles. Mini pickles to go in. Mini tomato. Mini tomato. And the mini onion. Mini onion. Wait, they have onions? Yeah. Gabby's getting into the onions. <laughs> don't forget your mini pickle. Did you get a mini pickle? No, I don't like it. Ooh, yeah. Look at that. Mini burger. Here we go. Looks like a McDonald's burger. We get these uh, subscription boxes every month. Try treats. Well, we're in luck. This month yeah, so it's from Italy. Italy. It's the Italian try treat box. And my dad's from Italy, so we're gonna see if this stuff is all from Italy or not. Bueno. <laughs> Kinder is not from Italy. That's true. Bueno is <laughs> this is all Italian from Italy. Let's see if there's anything here from actually from Italy. It's actually from Italy? Yeah. Have you had anything these this when you were a kid? Italy. That's not from Italy. That's from Italy? Bueno? Yeah. Uh, where's my glasses? Made uh, by Kinder. Kinder it's like chocolate. That's not for Italy. It's German. No, this is all Kinder. That's not for Italy. Anuta's is German too. That's not Italian. <laughs> That's Italian. I don't know what that being Italian. A Europe box. Italian chocolate. <clears throat> I know of a new to Germany because when my friend goes to Germany, he brings that back all the time. Where is this? Napoleon. Where's the Rone? Ah, that's, yeah, that's, that's like the other one. 
This is not very good either. What? You got it. That's from Germany. Where is the, uh, where is it saying made from? Yeah. Pastry puff. <coughs> Pastry puff? Pastry puff. You don't want it? You might like that. Here, you might like that. Might bring back some memories of some place. Who wants to try one? <coughs> what do you got? Pastry puff? I got one of these things. Whatever this is. What? It's good. Puff pastry okay, stick. What do you want to try? What one of that? these? You can buy that here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want that junk. Here, you like this stuff. I already have it. Nougat. Nougat? Is that the soft one or is that the hard one? I don't know. Is Open that the one with chocolate? Out. This is lemon. Forget it. They're lemon? lemon? Where'd you get this stuff? How can you tell? Lemon. Oh. <laughs> oh. How can you tell? How can you tell? It says lemon right how on it. How can you tell? Oh, What's this? Italian candy. Lemon. Lemon. This must be orange. Pure orange. 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 How do you like that candy, Khadija? Sounds good. Actually, it's a cream puff. Is there actually cream in it? Yeah, it's a little bit though. Cream filled pastry puff. This is what you try. There's another Kinder. I'm going to try it right now. Happy birthday to you. Are you one? Are you two? Oh, are you twenty? Are you twenty-one? Are you twenty-three? <laughs> no. Look, yeah. Sophie. Look what you're missing. It's not an Oma slice. After. It's triple Oma slice. Mommy. After, do you want to play it? Maybe. Chocolate. It's chocolate cake. Are you sure you don't want chocolate cake? Did you want a cake or not? Nothing. Oh, birthday presents. Opening up some birthday presents here. Take a picture. This fifty dollar bill is phony. It's not good. That's broken. Wow. Oh. The Indo Raptor. That's the man. The man-made oh, Raptor. Wow. What? No way. There you go. This is your birthday. Since I missed them, he didn't open your letter first, there, Lily. You're welcome. Just open up the cards. Birthday car. Wow. Twenty bucks. All right. Now we know who's buying pizza later. <laughs> what? Are you opening something? Yeah. What are you opening? American money. I see American money over there. American money. What are you doing with American money? Going on vacation. That's like worth double here. Yeah. Yeah. Seventy-five dollars. Seventy-five dollars. You got American money too. I'll give you an at par, okay? Yeah, right. If you have American <laughs> money, I'll give you at par. They're not going anywhere. <gasps> Holy jeez, look at that. It's okay. Money. No, no, money. You can buy your horse a new blanket now. What? Yeah, you can buy a horse a new blanket. It'll just get ripped and then I have to buy him another one. Wow. Oh, oh, Visa card. Now you have your own Visa card. What are you going to do with the Visa card? You can use that anywhere. Like the tax store to buy your horse a new blanket. You want a blanket? Wait, do I give it to them? Yeah, give them to them. It's their presents. Here you go, Hunter. Oh, I believe. No. I wonder what it could be. For real life. Hopefully it wasn't our channel. <laughs> That's one that shows you all the parts. Ooh, I forgot what you got them. What'd you get? The one that shows you all the parts in there, see? And you have to put it all together. What do you say? T-Rex. Thank you. You're welcome. See, it's not just for kids. These dinosaurs are not just for kids to play with. What? Kids of all ages play with dinosaurs. <laughs> I don't even know where to begin, but I want to talk to you guys about something that I've really been thinking about hard for the last few days. Um, we've been having people ride Stella and work with Stella. Some days are good, some days are bad. She has tried to, to go fast with um, another rider. She has, um, the other rider has had to run her into a wall and has had to do a one rain stop with her. 
Um, obviously, you know, she needs a lot of training and I think that she deserves that. Um, but here's what I'm thinking. This is what I don't understand and I'm just talking it through with you guys. This is not a final decision. It's just something I need to talk about and think about. I haven't talked about it with my trainer yet and I want to hear what you guys think. But I want to retire Stella for the time being. I, I think I want to retire Stella and this is why. I feel like Stella needs to get better. I feel like she has a, a, a fusing hawk and I don't know how much pain she's actually feeling. Um, all this behavior that is coming from her, like not, you know, fighting our trainers and the people who ride her and stuff. Um, I don't know how much she, I don't know if she's trying to tell me that she's hurt. One thing I know for sure is that the minute we started to canter Stella, she has been telling us that she doesn't want to. And I'm not experienced enough, obviously. I don't want to train Stella and train Stella and train Stella and then nobody ride her because no matter what, she's not going to be a beginner safe rider. And it's going to be a long time before Sylvia and I can ride her again. So why would I train her and train her and train her when we're not going to get to ride her? Like I said, it's just something I'm thinking about. Like, I don't want to retire her for her, the rest of her life. I want to let her rest. I feel like I want to bring Stella to our farm eventually and I want to play with her and hang out with her and I want her to be our our pet and I want her to do lots of amazing things with her. But for now, I think she deserves the opportunity to heal and get her weight down. And I know exercising is a big part of getting weight down, but the biggest part is controlling how much intake she has. And I don't know, I just wanna know what you guys think. Um, we're not selling Stella, we're not getting rid of her, we're not doing anything bad with her, but we're not ready for her. And getting her ready by getting a trainer to train her and then still us not being ready for her seems so silly. Like. I don't know, in my heart, I feel like Stella deserves an opportunity to heal and lose weight and um, just have some time and I don't know, I am curious what you guys think. So as usual, comment below and let me know. Obviously this is not written in stone, I'm just thinking about it, I'm just, this is what's in my mind and I haven't talked to my trainer at all yet. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to know what you guys think. So uh, that's it for today, we'll see you guys later. Child, I know you're hurt and you can't let go. It's not your fault, and you don't deserve all the bad in the hurt. Mm -hmm. I know you tried so hard. I know you've done your part It's not fair You did your time How much longer will you suffer in this life? But don't give up Just hold on tight It'll be alright Good man inside did everything that you thought you should. Didn't seem to do you any good. Suffer in this life, but 
don't give up. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.